Did you know that you don't have to travel to exotic places to experience the amazing biodiversity on Earth? That North America is home to tens of thousands of plants and animal species found nowhere else on the planet. It can be easy to overlook the amazing natural heritage right here at home. And now, more than ever, we have learned how important it is to understand the natural world in our relationship with nature so that we can best protect it. So, in the spirit of naturalists of the past, and in particular of the great scientist and adventurer Alexander von Humboldt, my journey in the Van Humboldt is all about discovery and telling the story of the amazing nature in our own neighborhoods. I'm traveling across North America in a biodiversity adventure van, visiting places throughout the United States and Canada that are home to rare and threatened species, and meeting the scientists who study them. The expedition is taking me far and wide, from sunny coastal communities and colorful New England landscapes, to wintry northeastern woods, to grand vistas of the west. I'm driving the van, hiking on foot, walking along beaches, wading in rivers, and traveling by boat to visit habitats as diverse as cypress swamps in Florida, pine barrens in New Jersey, coastal plain bogs in Alabama, and the Adirondack Mountains of New York. But the most amazing part of the journey is watching scientists turn biodiversity data into conservation knowledge. Scientists are the key to the NatureServe network, a system of over 60 natural heritage programs and conservation data centers that collect data on plants and animals using the same standards. The combined data from across all network programs is powerful. It's what enables NatureServe scientists to better monitor what exists, where it exists, and how it's doing across the entire continent. On the van tour, I'm learning how data is the foundation for conservation. Data collected in the field are mapped in geographic information systems, providing crucial information for understanding why we see specific plants and animals in the places we do. By tracking how species are doing, we know which are the most threatened, and by making information about the status of biodiversity available, we're able to do a better job of protecting species from extinction. Spending time on the ground, in nature, with conservation professionals has been amazing, and it has led to some unexpected encounters. Good looking snake. And exciting biodiversity <gasps> finds. He's missing a tail. What? NatureServe network scientists have introduced me to many globally imperiled species, such as the tiny curly grass fern in New Jersey and the large alligator snapping turtle in Alabama, and many more species that occur nowhere else on Earth except in North America like the famous Venus flytrap and the little-known plant called Persistent Trillium. We've also seen species that have only recently been discovered and are still considered new to science, including the tassel rue plant in Tennessee and the sicklefin red horse fish in Georgia. I've learned about efforts to bolster natural populations through captive breeding, like the eastern indigo snake release effort in Alabama. And I've observed the importance of prescribed fire purposely and carefully set by professionals to benefit species and communities that need fire to survive. Unfortunately, not all of the news from the road has been positive. I've also seen places impacted by climate change up close and in person. Extreme weather events such as flooding or droughts can complicate management for vulnerable fire-dependent species like carnivorous pitcher plants and animals like the red cocated woodpecker. Climate change affects snowpack and rainfall, putting species like those that depend on riverside habitat in Pennsylvania at risk, and potentially influencing important ecological services like pollination in alpine communities. Habitat destruction and other human activities also add pressure to ecosystems, stacking the odds against all of us working to save species from extinction. The time is now to take a stand in support of biodiversity here at home as well as across the globe. Our health and that of our planet are dependent on biodiversity, but we can't protect it unless we have the data to guide our understanding of the natural world. So buckle up and join the ride along with me and the Van Humboldt because the NatureServe Network Van Tour has a lot more natural heritage to discover and together we can conserve biodiversity right here at home. Follow the journey by checking out natureserve.org slash vantour and visit us on social media to read the latest updates from the road.